Creo 11 introduces full multi-body support for the sheet metal design environment. The following boolean and body operations are now available for design bodies of type sheet metal. You can easily copy bodies using the body copy and move copy features provided with the copy paste and copy paste special workflows. In addition, you can move geometry and bodies together with the move feature within the flexible modeling tab. The shown example illustrates this using the move using constraints flavor of the tool. Note that the body B clamp is selected together with a datum plane in the move objects collector. This allows to move or copy the body as a whole object and to define the required placement constraints involving the datum. The create a copy option in the feature can then be checked to duplicate the involved body and geometry instead of just moving it. The new body is then renamed to B clamp back. Bodies can also be patterned. Where applicable, this can also help to reliably pattern attached walls by splitting them into a new body, which can subsequently be patterned and then merged back. In the shown example, we use the edge rip feature to split off the wall geometry into a new geometric volume. Please note that volumes were formerly called pieces inside the sheet metal module. This new volume is then split out into a separate sheet metal body using the split by volume option within the split body feature. An easy way to then replicate that body is offered by the pattern feature. We use the point pattern type referencing a pattern of coordinate systems that defines location and orientation of the pattern members. And here a small tip. One way to quickly find the pattern feature that we want to select in the model tree is the following. We pause the current feature and then select one of the member coordinate systems. This auto locates it in the tree next to the pattern feature that we can then select before we resume the current feature. The subsequent boolean merge operation now also supports sheet metal bodies, which allows us to easily merge the pattern flanges back into the main body. Selecting the pattern feature in the modifying bodies collector of the boolean merge ensures a parametric update in case the number of pattern instances might change. Use the quilt body evolution tree to investigate the hierarchy of boolean operations. Here we see the three consumed pattern bodies that we just merged into the main body. We can then trim the main body in preparation for a mirror operation. Note that the split trim feature, as well as the body subtract and intersect features, offer the sheet metal specific normal to surface option to control whether side surfaces during material removal should be enforced to be orthogonal or not. Then we use the mirror feature to mirror the selected sheet metal bodies. This creates new bodies, which we can then merge back to the main body where required or leave as additional standalone bodies. Body pattern and mirror operations are acting on the body object and are therefore very stable upon modifications that might be made to a body before the operation. Let's roll back the model to before the last mirror feature and make a change to the side insert body and add a bend relief using the edit bend relief feature. After exiting insert mode and completing regeneration of the model, you can see how this change is immediately reflected on the mirrored side insert body.